there has been a lot of bad press around the DJI 04 or better known as the DJI 04 Lite. Still, I wanted to test this VTX myself and I decided to take a tiny whoop, the Beta FPV Meteor 7504 to see how well this little guy performed and how well this VTX performed. So stick around, in this video I'll walk you through my setup, how I fix the notorious jello issue and what I actually think about flying this drone. I went with the version of the Meteor 75 that comes without a VTX, which meant I had to install the 04 Lite myself, and it gave me the opportunity to make a few must-do modifications that the community strongly recommends for this VTX. Mainly, I'm talking about securing the camera cable with a dab of glue to reinforce the weak connection, and adding glue to the UFL antenna connector to keep it in place during crashes. I use E6000, which is the go-to in the FPV world for these kind of jobs. Once everything was set, VTX installed, Express LRS bound, rates dial in, I took off for the maiden flight and two things hit me right away. Number one, there was massive yellow in the video, impossible to miss. Number two, a super awkward field of view with this camera. Many are talking about it and now I'm experiencing it. Let's talk about the field of view thing first. I normally fly in 16 by 9 aspect ratio, but with the O4 light, the vertical view is so restricted, it just doesn't work. Switching to 4.3 helped, but it still wasn't ideal. Not my favorite FPV camera experience, to be honest. Now, about the yellow. I did some research and I found a few suggestions online. Some say to just secure the camera cable better, others blame the antenna mount, but most people agree you need to swap the stock canopy. I tested the cable trick first, didn't help. Then I printed this 3D canopy I found online. It holds the antenna more securely and stabilizes the camera better. And that finally fixed the yellow. Now, on calm days, I get zero yellow, and even with wind conditions, it's much better. And there is a bonus with this canopy. It's easier to set your camera angle by just pressing it with your finger until it looks right. Way better than fiddling with the stock canopy, which was a little bit uncomfortable to get it right. You can find the link to this 3D printed canopy in the description of this video. With the Beta FPV Lava 550 mAh 1S pack, I'm getting around 3 to 3.5 three minutes of aggressive flight, which is totally acceptable for a drone this size. That said, it's on the heavier side for a whoop. That's nothing to be denied. Although it's marketed as a 75 mm, it actually measures about 80 mm motor to motor. You will feel the extra weight, especially in tight move, but it's not a flying potato. If you know its limit and don't mind pushing the throttle a bit, it's actually really fun to fly. Honestly, I thought I was going to hate this drone from the beginning. Between all the O4 complaints, the weird feel of view, and how much I love my 65mm analog whoops, I didn't expect much. But the more I fly it, the more I kind of like it. The HD feed is super enjoyable, and even though I crash this thing a lot, it keeps holding up. No major failure so far. So if you are already in the DJI ecosystem, this drone could be perfect for you. It's a small drone. It's something that you can fly in your backyard. You can fly it inside as well if you are careful. It's something that is going to be enjoyable because you have that beautiful video quality that the DJI VTX gives you. You have to be a little bit careful with everything that is happening with this VTX, saying that it's a little bit fragile and that you have to do certain things to make sure it's gonna last you longer. But again, if you are in the DJI ecosystem, this drone can work very well for you. That's it for today. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching and see you soon.